solve 3x over x plus 1 is equal to 3 over 2x. Here we've got a rational equation to solve. Let's start out by getting rid of the fractions and multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator of these denominators. That lowest common denominator would be the product of x plus 1 times 2x. So let's multiply both sides by that. 2x times x plus 1 times the left-hand side, the 3x over x plus 1, is equal to 2x times x plus 1 times the right-hand side of the equation, the 3 over 2x. Now we can divide x plus 1 into itself. This leaves on the left the product 2x times 3x. On the right, dividing 2x into itself, that goes in there one time. That's going to leave the product x plus 1 times 3. Now let's multiply. On the left, we have a 6x squared. On the right, distributing the 3 gives 3x plus 3. At this point, we've got a quadratic equation. Let's put it in standard form by moving everything to the left. Write this then as a 6x squared. Let's subtract 3x from both sides, giving a minus 3x on the left side. Subtract 3 from both sides giving a minus 3 on the left as well, set equal to 0. At this point, let's notice that there's a common factor of 3 in each of these terms. So let's divide both sides by that common factor of 3, just to clean this up a little bit. This becomes a 2x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. And now let's factor this trinomial. If it factors, it's going to factor as the product of two binomials, where our leading terms must be 2x and x to give a product of 2x squared. And these terms here at the end must both uh, take on a value of 1 to give a product of 1. But now let's get our appropriate signs in place. If we put a plus sign here and a minus here, and just checking very quickly. Multiplying the first terms gives the 2x squared. Outer product is a minus 2x. The inner product is plus x. And those combine to a minus x. And lastly, we do indeed have that minus 1. Now use your zero factor property. 2x plus 1 is equal to 0, or x minus 1 is equal to 0. And solving each linear piece now. 2x is equal to negative 1, x is a negative 1 half then, or x is equal to 1. You can verify that both of these do check in the original equation, and our solution set is a negative 1 half, 1.